I, now we're going to do the mouth. Um, I used a piece of chalk. Um, you could also use the fabric chalk. You could, if you're home, you could use a pencil, but just please be careful that you don't make it so dark that you can't take it off. Um, so if you're making it on, on your mark, just make sure it's not really dark. If you do a little light, you can, so that you can see it, then you can take your finger over it later and kind of get off some of that stuff. But if you make it really dark, you're going to see that through the thread and it's not going to look pretty. So with that, I made my needle thread and make sure it's not too long because you don't want it to get all knotted up. Um, I did the little teddy bear face of the up and down. If you just want to do a little smiley face, you can do that as well. I'm doing this after I've sewed on the buttons and I pinned the belly on just so I have a perspective as to where everything's going to go. Again, you're going to always start in the back of the fabric. You're going to hide that knot in the back. And again, this chalk outline, it's it's a guideline for you. So if you go a little bit off the chalk, that's okay. The idea is you want your stitches to be even and consistent. So the back stitch is like the running stitch. You go forward. We did this on that powder blue fabric and you go right back into that last stitch. You don't want any space between the, between the two stitches. So always go back into that last hole of the stitch prior. So you come forward. I always feel, I always feel like it's leapfrog and then you go back. You go forward and you go back. You go forward and make sure you're pulling your thread all the way through so that you don't have big loopies in the back. You want to make sure that it's nice and tight and pulled through um, to avoid any like anywhere that your thread can get caught on. So I'm pulling this back and forth. Now when I get up to that little nosy part where you guys are like, all right, now what do I do? I use my thumb to control, to help me like guide where I'm gonna put the, um, the needle in. It helps, it helps control it a little bit versus having it all floppy and holding it over on the side. So try to keep that in mind if you're holding it over there. But if you hold it right where you, the, 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 um, the needle's gonna go in, it helps control the fabric. So now once I get up to the top of the nose, you're like, what do I do now, Mrs. Stern? Well, you can go right in to the, you can come through the back and cross over to the side. Come on in that way. Make sure it's pulled back and then jump back to the last stitch up here. And as you go, I'm kind of controlling it. He's looking cuter and cuter now that he has his eyes. He's got his mouth. We're coming through. See how the, the back stitch, the stitches are nice and even, and there's no gaping holes in between anything like the running stitch. The running stitch looks like a dotted line. This one looks like one solid stitch. And again, I used red fabric. I, I again wanted to show up it on the video, but you can use a contrasting um, thread, and contrasting means it's a different color thread so it stands out. Um, and then once you get into that last stitch, which we're gonna do up here, I get my last stitch in with my little guy. You come in through. And then again, on the back, you're gonna go into those last couple stitches. You don't wanna see it on the outside. You just wanna go into those last couple stitches, pull it through to form the knot. Three times just to secure it, all right? Wait until the, the loop is a little smaller because sometimes it gets all twisted if you do it when it's huge. So there you go. Pull it down. Take my scissors. I'll cut that. And there you go. I have the back stitch for the mouth. Good luck.